All right, welcome back to another week of remote learning. Uh, this week will be your last week for bell work. Next week it's a four-day week, um, so keep that in mind. That'll be one extra day. It'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This week is a regular Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So just keep that in mind that next week is going to be one day longer. Um, so you see here's my weekly agenda. Nothing has changed with it, so let's go ahead and jump right in. That's all stuff you had to do yes. yesterday and last week. Here's all the stuff you have to do for this week. Remember, all assignments are due by Monday the 11th. So that is Monday. Okay, right there by noon. All right, so this week, your last bell work word. So let's get to it. If you go ahead and scroll all the way down to the bell work 32, ideology, propaganda, human rights, and Kim Jong-un. Um, this is all about North Korea stuff. Now we're going to get to China, North Korea, Japan, all that kind of stuff today and next week. So I just kind of threw these words in there. So that you might be ready for them next week. All right. So these words we might not go over uh, well this week, but we will go in next week. And since this is the last one, I want to make sure you guys get to know these. Okay. So ideology, propaganda, human rights, and Kim Jong Un, who apparently is alive and well. Okay. There were reports that he had died. Uh, that is wrong. He apparently made a public uh, address last yesterday or this last weekend. Talking about how he's fine, they had surgery on a heart, like he had a heart attack or something. So they said he would die of it on uh, the surgery table, but apparently that did not happen. Okay, so here are the words, here are the definitions. So go ahead and get the stuff done for me today. And that's all you got to do for bell work tomorrow. I'll go over must have examples, and then on Thursday we'll go over pictures. Okay, next thing you have to do for today is watch a crash course and take the quiz. Okay, crash course we found here. You see it is approved, okay, it's over the Communist Nationalists and Chinese Revolution, basically what made modern China what modern China is today. If you cannot see it, once again, go up to here, make sure you are signed into your East Noble account. If not, sign out, sign back in and refresh the page and it should work. If you're still having trouble, let me know and then I can get that a downloadable link for you guys. The only problem is with that downloadable link, you do not get the closed captions that will help you with the quiz, okay? The quiz is simple. It is five questions long. So five questions over. This is about a 12-minute, 11-minute video. So think every two minutes and you do a quiz question. Um, very simple questions. Some of you might be able to get them even without watching the crash course if you know your modern China history, basically. If you know your notes and stuff like that, that'll be going over this week. So, uh, yes, you get multiple attempts. I take the highest score. Passcode is China. I mean, that's what we're talking about. So try to make it easy. Um, no, you cannot see the correct answers so once you're done. So you can't just go ahead and click on it and see the right answers. Do it right. You will have to take it over and over again. Okay. So the passcode, once again, is China, capital C, H-I-N-A. All right. Other than that, there's really not much for today. Day. Tomorrow, we're going to work on modern China notes. I'm working on getting that PowerPoint ready. It's going to be like the last PowerPoint where it's going to be a voiceover for each slide. And then we have a video that we're going to watch. Um, it's on YouTube, but I'll get a poster for you guys. It's actually one of my favorite ones we watch all year long. So um, I'll have that post and I'll go over that on Thursday next week. Uh, I am doing a final, but it's not like a final test and like a final project, and it's not going to be overly overthought of it's going to be i like the kiss model keep it simple stupid so it's going to keep it very simple for you guys to do so you're able to do it um at home normally what i do is i do a book but since uh we're at remote learning i'm not going to be doing that so keep uh that keep in mind that next week is a four-day week and it's also going to be a final project in my classroom but it's not going to be anything that you guys can't do or haven't done um it in my class or over remote learning so don't worry about that okay and as always everything is due okay noon by monday you can turn and take the quiz here turn in the notes bell work and all that kind of stuff so if you get your bell work done you know what you're doing there's the turn and link it should be available if not please email me all right